welcome to LB TV's first ever live newscast. I'm Kiara Henry. And I'm Casey Washhausen. Lynx Track and Field won their conference title for the second year in a row. Bailey Walker and Gia Thompson has the story. The Lindenwood Belleville track team competed in the conference tournament this past weekend, where the men's team took first place for the second consecutive year. At the conference meet, I won one AMC Conference Athlete of the Year. In the off season, I did a lot of weight training, stretching, making sure my muscles are ready because I've, normally I have hamstring problems, which came into play this year, which is why I've been battling. I uh, won the newcomers award, so I'm the best, best person who was transferring in this conference. So yeah, this is pretty awesome. Now on the weekend, we are driving to Chicago to yeah compete in the in the final event for the nationals. We uh, we did pretty good. Uh, I really was expecting to win conference. Uh, I knew going into conference uh, we're ranked uh, number one uh, on paper. It's pretty much placed better outdoor nationals than I did uh, last year outdoor. Uh, I finished seventh, but uh, this time I'm aiming for top five, so we'll see how that goes. Rugby season never seems to end. They finished one of their final tournaments this spring, and our own rugby player Christian Paletti has more on the story. Well, we went down to uh, uh, Cottage Grove, Wisconsin, played in the Upper Midwest Sevens Tournament. It was a qualifier for uh, the Division II USA Rugby National Championships. Um, we went 4-2 and two on the weekend, um, won our pool, um, and then lost in the final to Wisconsin Whitewater, 22-0. Uh, we had a pretty rough loss early on against uh, Wisconsin-Eau Claire, a team we, uh, we should have beat. Uh, they had beat us on the last play of the game. Um, and we rebounded really well. Uh, you know, responding to adversity is something that we haven't done um, overly well throughout the year, and uh, we did it really well this time. So we bounced back in the very next game. We played Minnesota Duluth, who uh, three-time defending 15s national championship or champions, and they knocked us out of the 15s championships in the uh, in the fall. They beat us earlier uh, this spring here in Belleville, and uh, we beat them 20 to nothing. So we responded really well to that, and then. Uh, you know, did played really well the rest of the, the tournament until the final when we ran into a really experienced, really seasoned, really good team. Um, but I was really pleased and proud of the way that uh, we bounced back and kind of shook off that rough loss. We just need to work on doing the right things cons more consistently. Um, at this point, we pretty much know what the right things are. It's just a matter of doing them every play and, and being focused on them every play. And because and, when you play those really good teams like Whitewater, they don't really give you much quarter. When you make a mistake, they, they pounce on it. And uh, when they make a rare mistake, we've got to pounce on it. So we've got to be a little bit more consistent in doing the right things in order to beat the top team in the country, which they are. Thanks for that story, Christian. As you all know, I love food, but I think breakfast is my favorite. Devin Jackson was at our midnight breakfast, and here's the story. I'm Devin Jackson, reporting for LBTV News, here with Andrew Doobie. And uh, Andrew, tell me a little bit about this food that you're having right now. The food is really good, man. Got some eggs, bacon, potatoes. I'm enjoying it. Tell me a little bit about the food you're having now. It's straight. You know what I'm saying? I'm hungry at night, you feel me? So it's good to have some food. You know what I'm saying? Well, the food is great. It's the best thing that I ever had. Came here for free food. I'm joined by LBTV's very own Casey Washhouse. And tell me a little bit about the midnight breakfast tonight. Well, we have midnight breakfast tonight, just like at the end of every semester. And basically, everybody comes out, all the residential students, to eat midnight breakfast. Everyone loves it. The bacon is the best part about midnight breakfast. I so, so you're going to eat a lot of bacon? Oh my gosh, I plan on getting a full plate full, just to bake it. <laughs> Thank you.
LBTV's very own Bailey Walker is here as well. Hey, hey, how's it going? Tell me a little bit about the midnight breakfast food. Um, it's really great because I had a really bad dinner earlier, so it's awesome that I get to have it later tonight. It's been a great midnight breakfast, successful for Cab and every student that came today. I'm Devin Jackson reporting for LBTV News. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Devin. After this short break, we'll be right back with our first live newscast from L LBTV. Welcome back to LBTV's first live newscast. Casey, did you go to the Comp Showcase last week? I did go. I loved seeing all of the senior capstone projects. Did you go? I did. They showed two of my video works. Mine too. Our reporter, Richard Burgess, has a story for you. There was so much more organization this year. We actually had people submit stuff to the showcase instead of just asking teachers for work that they thought was good. We actually got to go through the process of looking at people's things and deciding whether or not we wanted to have all of the designs. We wanted to decide if we had any other projects that we wanted to have in it. And there was a lot more, I think, work this year. We had um, different photography pieces also had info design pieces, digital design, and graphic design. Um, we had the games that we hadn't had last year, so that was another thing that we could add in there to draw people in. And then we also had the capstone class stuff. And if any of your pawns land on these resource spaces, you can roll these D2. It's really nice. It's amazing to see what the students have done here and um, a lot of things that I couldn't imagine doing. Uh, very creative, very ingenuitive, all kinds of projects. Uh, really impressive stuff. Thanks for that report, Richard. Joining us now is Gia Thompson to talk about the activities this week. Gia, what's going on? Thanks, Kiaris. This week in Belleville, Arden Square will be held all weekend. All fellow art lovers are encouraged to attend. Art in the Square will be held at the Public Square Friday from 5 to 10 p.m., Saturday from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., and Sunday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. On Saturday, May 14th, everyone is invited to the Old Town Market, which will be held in downtown Belleville on the parking lot at the corner of West Main and North First Streets from 7.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. For this week on campus, the most exciting news for all the students is the extended library hours. The library is staying open for two hours longer to help students prepare for their finals. If you're up studying during late hours, don't forget the library is open to help. That's all for activities this week. I'm Gia Thompson. Good luck on finals. Well, thanks Gia. Stay with us because after this short break, Christian Poletti will join us for the weekly sports report. Hey, look, it's those guys. Are you good to drive? I'm fine. How many did you have? I should be fine. You should be? Go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me. See ya, buddy. Good luck. So it turns out, buzz driving and drunk driving, they're the same thing. And it costs around $10,000. So not worth it. Welcome back to LB's TV's live newscast. Join us now is Christian Paletti with the Sports Report. Christian, what's going on? Thanks, Kiaris. The Lindenwood Lynx men's baseball team's season has come to an end as they bowed out of the American Midwest Conference Championships with a 16-8 loss at the hands of Park University. The Lynx finished with a regular season record of 16 wins and 40 losses. Chuck Terran and Ethan Ruff collected Golden Glove honors as they were both standouts in the outfield all season. Ruff was also selected for the all AMC second team behind his perfect field percentage. The women's softball team also had four players selected with all AMC honors. Taylor Wynn, Nicole Misowitz, 
and Emily Ray were all selected for the All-AMC First Team, while freshman Paige Kiefler achieved All-AMC Second Team honors. Taylor Wynn was also named the AMC Pitcher of the Year. The junior finished with a 21-10 record, 2.08 ERA, with 166 strikeouts to only 28 walks allowed. The men's lacrosse team season also came to an end, as they were defeated by number one seed Davenport University, 18-7. The Panthers' accuracy was the major difference in the game, as the Lynx had only five shots less, but couldn't find the back of the net as routinely as Davenport. The loss knocked the Lynx out of the NAIA national invite and concluded a very competitive season. Cody Treller was awarded with all AMC second team honors as he led the team with 39 goals on the season and added 41 assists. The senior concluded his time with the Lynx, totaling 123 goals and 111 assists in his impressive career at Lindenwood. I'm Christian Paletti. Please be sure to go to lindenwoodlinks.com to keep up to all to date to keep up to date with all the latest Lynx sporting news. Thanks for that report, Christian. And thank you all for watching. We would like to take this time out to thank all the staff here at LBTV News. Our classmates, Christian Paletti, Devin Jackson, Akeisha Green, Gia Thompson, Bailey Walker, and Anjanae Woodson. And our graduating class, me, Kiara Henry, Justin Tarnow, and Richard Burgess. We'd also like to thank our teachers, Chris Sabo and Scott Morris, for such a great semester. Thanks for watching the first ever live LBTV newscast. I'm Kiara Henry. And I'm Casey Washhausen. We'll be back in the fall with more news, but until then, have a great summer. Here are some bloopers from our LBTV crew. Up to Earth Day. No, no, it wasn't on. Gee, your mic's not on, right? She put it on now. Okay. Yeah, but it's open there. Little Elfast at 2404 Main Street Brewery. I have to redo that. It was 4202. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> we can cut that out. Okay, we're probably. Our educator of the week. No, I don't no. know. Okay. I didn't know what I was saying. You need to redo that, I guess. <laughs> Where do you want Justin, tell us what's going on. Thanks, Kitty. Akeisha, let us know what's going on. Thanks, Kitty. Thanks, Kiaris. Thanks, Kiaris. Okay. Kiaris. This camera. Welcome back to LBTV News. This past Saturday, Club Fusion hosted the their very first ultimate free. This week around Bellevue. Oh. Look at you. Girl, you've seen me run. You know I could do that in my sleep. It's your green, and welcome to LBTV News. And I'm Justin Turnell. He is a mess. We're here. We're here. Relax.